Good morning, you beautiful, talented, brilliant, powerful muskox. Mm -hmm. I'm very sleepy today. I woke up at 5.20 to Theo breaking into a bag of his food. Bless you, Theo. Bless you. He's right here, laying on the kitchen table, just like he owns the place. So we're gonna do something chill today. We're gonna do a thrift haul! I've been thrifting twice in the past couple days, once by myself, once with friends, so... Yeah, just like that. You said it better than I ever could. So... To begin with, my record player works. The speakers work with it, so it's the end of a long saga. However, it sounds really bad. It sounds really scratchy, and I can't tell if it's because my records are dirty or if the needle is kind of shot in the move. So <laughs> I found an unopened record that I could test. I don't know who this person is. Lots of chest hair showing. I'm very, very interested in busted. Continuing on with media. Yes, I am one of those people who has many VHS's still, and yes, I did buy them as an adult. And no, I don't feel particularly cool about myself because of it. I just like them. Little Mermaid. We've got an accidental purchase of Aladdin and the King of Thieves. I already have Aladdin, so I don't know what I was looking for, but it wasn't this. Maybe it's good. Maybe I'll do a review of it. Who knows? I found Harvey, which I enjoyed so much, but I had gotten it from the library. And it has a special narrative introduction by James Stewart. And yeah, Jeff didn't watch it with me, so now I'm gonna watch it with Jeff sometime. And it's so nice. Isn't he cute? Look at that cute little face. Can you see Luke? Probably. Sometimes Luke just stares. Stares right here. And I don't know. I don't know why. What do you see, little lady? You good? We've got one of my other old favorite movies, The Magnificent Seven. Oh, son, don't do this to me. Not to me. Thanks. Oh, son is so nice. The Magnificent Seven. I saw this forever ago, and the new one is, you know, is fun, is new. But. The old one, real good. When my dearly beloved husband and a good, good friend of mine heard that I hadn't seen this movie, they demanded that we watch it then and there that very day. And I didn't have it. I missed out on a lot of movies in the 90s and the early aughts. Homeschool problems. So I saw Christopher Robin with Kaylin and it was so very good. Hey, what do you see? And so I've been collecting poo stuff when I find them. I also found, thrifting the other day, a complete collection of the Winnie the Pooh stories, which is just beautiful. I'll get that, even though I didn't, it's not technically part of this haul, but it's worth it. Oh, hang on, hang on. So the dust cover is missing, which is not a problem for me because I don't really like dust covers because I just heard them. Look at how, how beautiful. Look at that. So now that we have seamlessly transitioned into books, it's almost like I planned this. I have a theory that these three books belonged to the same kindred spirit. Stephen Colbert's I Am America and So Can You, which I have not read, but I love Stephen Colbert, so I'm excited. And, you know, he looks like this in it, so it's gotta be good. Tina Fey's Bossy Pants, which I have read and I very much enjoyed. And we have one of my dear favorites, not only because he's a narrator of the Harry Potter books, Stephen Fry, the hippopotamus. Got some kids books too. Bever Beverly Clearly. <laughs> Beverly, I can't. Beverly Cleary's The Mouse and the Motorcycle, which I used to listen to the audiobooks on cassette. I would check them out from the library all of the time. Honey, there's nothing. I, oh, you see the reflections! Oh, it all makes sense. I get it now. I'm sorry, I thought you were crazy. Got a mint condition Tales of Beetle the Bard. And then, oh, you guys. These were my favorites. The I Spy books. And can we just take a moment and do a page together? I'm gonna give a link to an unlisted video, and I am going to look for this whole page and I am going to just upload that whole thing over footage of this spread and if you can find it faster than me then you win okay ready 
Okay, we're back. Oh my goodness, that was that was an adventure. I spent a little while finding all of them. So if you want to go play with me, play with me. Click the unlisted video in the description and you can try to see if you will beat me. Okay, this is definitely waking me up, y'all. This is very fun. Moving on to some DVDs. These were $2.50 each, all right? Seinfeld. Eight, season nine, season three, season four, season one and two. So you know what? I'm not mad about it. I can always find the rest of them somewhere else. Jeff and I have talked about watching them and they're not on Netflix, so perf. Speaking of Jeff, wow, I'm so good at this, you guys. I didn't even plan that. I found a nice little navy sweater for him. Just like a pretty standard short sleeve button down. And then my favorite things, these are gonna go in my bedroom. I hope you love this because I really love it. And actually I kind of dressed in green to match it today. Look at how sweet this is. A bushel and a peck. And then to go along with it, I got these two frames for like a dollar each. Got this and this. Weirdly, they had pictures of us and me in them. It was like a sign up. Sorry, that was bad joke. So that was my haul. That was all under, under 50 bucks for all that stuff. Oh, I forgot one of the most important things. Good grief. It's so cute. Thank you for spending this time with me. Oh my goodness, I feel ready for my day. It's, what time is it? Let's do my thing. It's 9.17. So we got plenty of day ahead of us and I've been up for four hours. <sighs> As always, you matter and God loves you. Bye. They demanded, hey, no, 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 no. Just because it's called a dead mouse does not mean you can attack it.